Hello, welcome to our next book in the Mr. Putter and Tabby series. Mr. Putter and Tabby, bake the cake. So we're gonna change seasons in this book. It's not gonna be fall anymore like it was in Pick the Pears. We're moving to a new season. Let's see where we're going now. Mr. Putter and Tabby, bake the cake. Do you have any clues on this page as to what season it might be? Mm, look at that, what Tabby's laying on there. Chapter one is called A Good Cake. Chapter two is called No Pans. Chapter three is called Mary Sue. And chapter four is called Something Airy. And there's that Tabby having some fun, it looks like. Chapter one, A Good Cake. Oh, just looking at the picture, can you tell what season it is? I see the same clue you do out the window. It was winter time. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby sat at their window every night to watch the snow come down. They watched and dreamed. Mr. Putter dreamed of the big red sled he rode as a boy. There he is. He dreamed of snowmen big as big as a house. Tabby dreamed too. She dreamed of the snow drifts she walked on as a kitten. She dreamed of deep tunnels through white yards. Mr. Putter and Tabby were old now. They had a lot to dream about. That is why they loved winter time. They also loved winter time because winter time brought Christmas. Mr. Putter loved to give Christmas presents. He started thinking about Christmas presents in July. He liked to think about what he could give the grocer and the librarian and to the policeman. Mr. Putter also had to think of what he could give to his neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry. This was the hardest of all. He usually had to think about this all the way to December. Mrs. Teaberry liked strange things. She liked coconuts made into monkey heads. She liked salt shakers that would that walked across the table. She liked little dresses for her teapots. She even liked fruitcake. Mr. Putter could live with monkey heads and walking salt shakers and dressed up teapots. But Mr. Putter could not believe that Mrs. Teaberry liked fruitcake. He could not believe that anyone liked fruitcake. Every Christmas, Mrs. Teaberry ate mounds of fruitcake. It worried Mr. Putter. This winter, it was worrying him a lot. He thought Mrs. Teaberry should have a good cake for Christmas. Not a fruit cake that would break her toe if she dropped it. A good cake. A light and airy cake. And one night, as he and Tabby sat dreaming at their snowy window, that is what he decided to give Mrs. Teaberry for Christmas. Mr. Putter would bake her a Christmas cake. It would be a cinch. Hmm. It would be a cinch. Hmm. We're going to work on what we think that word means here in a minute, but I'm going to tell you about your first question that you have to answer today. Your first question is, what does Mr. Putter love about the season of winter? I want you to work on that. When you have that done, we're going to move to chapter two. So you can push pause 
and then come back to me. Chapter two, no pans. The cake was not a cinch. In the first place, Mr. Putter did not ha know how to bake a cake. He could bake instant muffins, he could bake instant popovers, but he had never baked a cake. He didn't know how. Oh, so at the end of this chapter, he said, it would be a cinch. And then here, when he's going to get started, he says, the cake was not a cinch. Hmm, what do we think cinch means? It would be easy, right? He thought, oh, that would be easy. But then here, he's found out it's not easy. First of all, he doesn't know how to do it. He's never done it before, and he doesn't know how. Hmm. In the second place, Mr. Putter had no pans. He had muffin pans. He had popover pans. But he had no cake pans. If he had baked a cake, it would have to be in a shoe, or maybe in a flower pot, or maybe even in a hat. But not in a cake pan because he did not have one. Would you want to eat a cake out of a shoe? Mm -hmm. Probably not, huh? Or out of a flower pot or a hat. And in the third place, Mr. Putter had no cookbook. He had books on seaweed. He had books on clouds. He had books on Christmas trees. But he had no cookbooks. Mr. Putter thought about no cookbook, no cake pans, and the fact that he did not bake cakes. He said to Tabby, <laughs> maybe for Christmas, Mrs. Teaberry would like a nice cup of tea and a card. The card says, it's the thought that counts. He thought about making a cake. Hmm. Love it. All right. We are going to stop right there for today. We're going to save the other two chapters for the next couple of days. But here's your next two questions, okay? What idea did Mr. Teaberry come up with for a gift for Mrs. Did I say Mr. Teaberry? Let me start all over again. What idea did Mr. Putter come up with for a gift for Mrs. Teaberry for Christmas? That's the worst thing you're gonna, that's question number two, because you already did the winter time question. And then question number three is, what is his problem now? Now what is Mr. P Putter's problem that he's gonna need to solve? Hmm, go ahead and write that down and I'll see you with more Mr. Putter tomorrow.